Good morning. Today, we're going to do a video on oatmeal. I know it sounds very boring, but but trust me, uh, I was going down the oatmeal cereal aisle at Walmart the other day, and I found something that really caught my eye. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video review on that. So here it is. Oh, <clears throat> upside down. Uh, lemon cream oatmeal from Great Value, Walmart brand. Um, this has eight packs in it, and I believe the price when it was about a buck fifty, dollar fifty, dollar sixty, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, it had eight packs. I think a lot of the the other oatmeal flavors, like your maple and brown sugar, which I eat like. 90% of the time, or apples and cinnamon. Those usually have 10 packs. This said 8 packs. And um, I usually will get the 20 packs of the maple and brown sugar for $2.93. But anyway, <clears throat> I decided to, you know, splurge a little bit on the 8 pack lemon cream oatmeal. This is, this is what it looks like as it, uh, microwaved it I'm trying to get a good camera angle on that i don't know if i can or not but that's what it looks like it does have um a yellow color which is good <laughs> for lemon i guess um so we kind of mix it up because usually it's there's oatmeal and as soon as i mix it up i, I start noticing that whiff of lemon flavor coming out of the bowl which is good because I smelled this as soon as it got out of the microwave, and it was not, didn't, it just had no smell. No lemon smell at all. So now that I mixed it up, it looks a little more, um, and I could definitely smell the lemon. Yeah. Looks a little bit more like porridge or grits. You know, it looks a little bit more presentable. But anyway. <clears throat> And by the way, this is a limited edition. I just wanted to let y'all know that. So this is not going to be around forever, okay? Limited edition. All right, so let's try Great Value brand of lemon cream oatmeal. Let's see how it is. Mmm. First bite in, I'm, I'm very impressed. We'll just go and make sure that's... Get a second bite to confirm it. Hmm. Okay. It's, I don't know about excellent, but it's pretty good. Um, the very first little morsel of this oatmeal is going to hit you with a very sweet, almost too sweet for lemon, lemon flavor. Um, as you get through your spoonful of oatmeal, you will notice that the flavor, the lemon flavor goes away and you just have a bit of that, more of that just general oatmeal flavor. Um... This is pretty um, comparable with their other brands. Um, I wonder if there's like a little bit, a little bit less of a of a flavor compound in this. And what I mean by this is like, is this more like chewing gum, where you you know you chew a little bit, but eventually 
there's no more flavor. The flavor disappears very quickly. This is, kind of reminds me of that. It's good. It's edible. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would lean towards that. Um, but again, um, you know, lemon cream. I guess the very sweetness is the cream. Hmm. This one's kind of hard to grade, but um, it is, you know, store brand. So it's not Quaker Oats. The price was fair. Uh, the consistency on point. Um, the flavor is about what I what I would expect. Um, again, there was there is a little bit of that oatmeal aftertaste kind of thing. Like the you, you know you'll get the very first morsel of that spoonful will hit your tongue, bam, with lemon. And then it'll disappear very rapidly. So that's really the only downfall of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. So there you have it. And by, and by the way, um, if you want to look at what this oatmeal looks like, um, I usually do two packs. You know, I put just enough water in there to cover um, the oatmeal. Yeah, you know, so that's why it's nice and thick. Some people dump like a gallon of water for a little packet of oatmeal. I mean, you, you do what you want with your oatmeal, but I've always said thicker is better. It's heartier, fills you up better. Um, and also, um, your, um, if you water down something, well, later on in the day, you're going to get the runs, right? <laughs> okay. I am the conservative pelican. Thanks for joining me on this journey down the grocery aisle. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.